The problem with human hair is that it creates huge amounts of waste which end up in landfill. In the UK, we generate around 6.7 million kilograms of human hair waste each year. And you can imagine that creates a lot of problems. My name is Sana Visu and I'm a material designer and researcher and currently a design researcher in residence at the Design Museum. What I'm doing as part of the residency is actually researching the huge amounts of human hair waste, but much more on a local level. So I'm actually working with local hairdressers and barbershops to see the problems, but also the opportunities. So in the beginning, I approached different hairdressers in this area. Um, and about 80% was really keen to be involved and the other 20% um, wasn't so much. There was either a scepticism to the project or um, to the material um, or the approach in itself. Um, and that kind of comes down to wider society, how we actually work with the material, um, the taboo around it. This is one of the areas where I collect my hair and um, in this area there's 97 hairdressers in one mile radius of the Design Museum. I'm Peter, I'm a barber and I, I've been cutting hair all my life. <laughs> tons, <laughs> tons of it, definitely to feed a, a football stadium, yes, absolutely, 100%. We put it outside, the dustman take it, and we have to pay the dustman. But now, if there is a way to do something with the hair, I think it's a wonderful idea, because it's a waste. And we waste too much in this country. The Future Observatory is a new national program of design research supporting the green transition, and it's funded by the AHRC based at the Design Museum because it's a museum that is a kind of nexus between uh, design research and industry and because we can also present that research to the public and, and make the public a stakeholder in this huge issue. So the museum is a forum, it's a place where we can bring people together, where we can have symposia, debates, roundtable discussions, but also show some of that research uh, through displays. What's interesting about it being located at a museum is that uh, it really changes what a museum is and it makes a museum a catalyst that drives change. So it's not just about raising people's awareness, it's really having an impact in the world. I think funding for the arts and humanities is super important because we're facing multiple challenges as a society, as a planet, um, and we need to support the people that are coming up with the ideas to confront those challenges, whether that's the climate crisis or social inequality or myriad other challenges that we face. Um, and those people require funding, they require support, they require infrastructure to um, come up with new designs, uh, new narratives, uh, new ideas um, that will help us through. We've been using human hair for a very long time, so in theory it's nothing new. Um, what I'm interested in is actually looking at the infrastructure and the systems how we use human hair and how that actually is embedded in modern day life. <laughs> 